everybody. My name is Zakia Ringgold. I'd like to welcome all of you that are watching from Soap Nation, all of you that are watching from the Baraka clan. We have a really interesting self-care, simple um, option for you to do tonight, and that happens to be a moisturizing bath truffle. Now, the ingredients are laid out right here, kind of, sort of, so that you are able to see it. Nice come. Hello, Lakeisha. Have you gotten your books, my dear? Have you gotten your books? I'm hoping the answer to that is a yes, ma'am. I have got my books. I'm ready to go. Um, so my name is Zakia Ringgold. I happen to be the owner of NaturalSoapbySakia.com as well as the creator of Live Soap School, where I teach people all over the world how to make their own handcrafted natural skincare products. And then for those people who don't want to make it, I ship it from Natural Soap by Zakia. And so this is a really simple recipe, but it gives you a little bit of self-care in the tub, which is always fantastic. Our numbers just jumped to about 74, so I'm not sure where you are watching. But thank you so very much for joining. Um, let's see what you all are saying. So Drea said, Hey, Zakia, I seen you call, but by the time I woke up, it was late. That's okay. I'm glad you're able to catch me live. And Amelia has finished the first one and reading the second one. I am so happy to hear that. So we have a new soap maker on the horizon, guys, which is always very, very, very exciting. So I have already got our water going. It's like bubbling, bubbling, bubbling over here. And let me tell you about the ingredients that we have for this very, very simple, simple recipe that you can make at home. So, of course, we have our Baraka Shea Butter, which is right here. Let me make sure it's in the frame. The recipe for this is in the description for this video. So all of the exact amounts that you are going to need are listed for you right there. So... We have our Baraka Shea Butter here, which is extremely moisturizing and conditioning to the skin. We also have a heaping amount of the Mango Butter, which is this one right here. We also have some coconut oil, which is in this small little handy dandy container. And then we also have some emulsifying wax. Now emulsifying wax is going to help so that we don't have that much of an oil slick. I will say, if you are going to make this or if you're going to use bath truffles, you want to be very, very cognizant when you are getting out of the tub because it could be a little bit slippery. Now, the nice thing about bath truffles and what they do is they actually help to moisturize the water and it creates a conditioning. Like, how do you moisturize the water? But those oils are sitting there right on your skin as you are bathing. So Drea said, well, what in the world are we making with all those ingredients? We are making bath truffles, which are very, very simple to do. And then we also have our lavender essential oil here. So we're going to be using lavender essential oil, but you can use any essential oil that you choose in this recipe. So we're going to simply combine everything that we have in this glass container here. So I'm going to start with the largest amount first, which is the mango butter. And then hopefully you guys will be able to see it as I put it in. So there's the mango butter. So we put that in the jar first. We follow that up with our shea butter, which is this one here. So we're just mixing all of them in. We're combining every single one of the ingredients together. We have Sylvia checking in. How you doing? What's cooking, Martiche Beauty? Very good to see you. Um, all of you that are watching on the YouTube side, make sure you have clicked that subscribe button. Um, we are broadcasting in multiple places right now. So wherever you are watching, be sure to click the like, the follow, subscribe, whatever the option is on that platform. And so what we're making, if you're just now coming on, is our moisturizing bath truffles. The recipe for you to be able to follow this exactly is on the link that's connected on this video. So you'll be able to see exactly what the formulation is. 
But then you can watch this video to see just how simple it is to do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our coconut oil. So far, we have added shea butter. We have also added our mango butter. And now we're adding our coconut oil. Now I have 96 degree um, coconut oil, which means that it typically melts down once it, or 92 degrees, once it hits 92 degrees. So it's pretty warm, but it's not completely liquid state at this point. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right inside of our faux double boiler, just like that. Because we don't wanna put our ingredients directly into the pot, but by having it inside of the, um, the boiling water, that helps us to get it melted down evenly, avoiding the microwave, because you know how I feel about melting ingredients in the microwave. I feel like that kind of zaps some of their qualities out of it. But if you don't have the ability to melt in a double boiler, feel free to melt your ingredients in the microwave. You simply combine them all. Another reason why I'm doing it this way is I want to hold off on the emulsifying wax for once this is a little more melted and not just right in there. So who do we have watching? We have, what is that, 76 people across the platform. So if you have not said hello, while that is melting, I will get a chance to actually talk to all of you. So we have both of the Dreas here. Hey girls, we also have Martiche watching on YouTube saying hello, how are you? We have Sylvia checking in and we also have Lakeisha checking in. So I can't scroll up to see who else is watching, but if you haven't said hi, you gotta say hi. Sonella said, wait a minute, I'm here. I am here. Well, hello Sonella. Very good to have you watching. Um, I'm in this really teeny tiny square. I'm trying to figure out where it works for me to be on screen so that I'm not constantly looking side to side. We have Cassia. I'm hoping I said your name correctly, from Tennessee. We have Jenny, oh no, I'm sorry, Jen Wags checking in from Canada. So we are broadcasting on the Philippines channel. Um, we're also broadcasting in Canada as well as Australia. So it's also very awesome to have all of you here. We have special, specials checking in. Drea is giving us the wave. Wave, 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 wave. Thank you for waving. Thank you for checking in. Um, a Gullah girl. Hey, hey, how are you? With another, hey, sunshine. Hey, sunshine. So this is still melting. It takes a few minutes, probably takes about two more minutes for it to get down to a liquid state, which is what we want. Once it goes completely liquid, we'll go ahead and add in our emulsifying wax. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that now. So it'll be like combined right in there with the butters. And that's less work for me to need to do. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and measure out our essential oil. And we are using lavender essential oil, primarily because it is such a universal essential oil that most people can easily get their hands on. Um, additionally, it has some really, really calming effects with the lavender essential oil. Miss Lady Boss, well, hello there. Thank you for checking in. Always good to see you. All right, so while that's doing that, we're gonna grab our scale. Um, I have a lot of equipment here that has been with me for quite a while. Um, so as you can see, my scale is almost beat to death. Not quite, almost there. I'm just going to reuse the container that we had our coconut oil in, and I'm going to measure out our lavender essential oil because we're going to mix that right in once all of that is melted. Now you don't wanna put your lavender essential oil in while it is melting because you don't want it to impact that flash point where it'll just completely burn off the scent. So I do it separate from this being melted. So I'm gonna measure this out and get just, and a little goes a long way. Your essential oils, when you use them, are highly highly concentrated so you don't want to like just go crazy and, and they're also expensive let's just be honest they're very expensive to use um, so you just want that scent to come through and you don't want to overdo it because it's like putting 
the essential oil directly onto your skin, which is not what we want. You never want to put an, an essential oil directly on your skin. You always want it inside of a carrier oil. So we need about five more grams here. And the reason I'm using this little tool here is to avoid spillage and waste, guys. Um, sometimes what can happen, when I go to pour it, it ends up going all down the side of the jar. And if it's down the side of the jar, that means I can't use it in a product, which is no good. Um, and therefore, what we do is by using this little pipette, we get exactly what we want without actually spilling anything, which is always fantastic. So we've got that going. So we have our lavender essential oil kind of waiting and hanging out while that is melting down. I'm going to grab our little spatula and stir her up just like that. I don't know how many of you watch Carmen. Um, she's on Facebook as well. She does a lot of live stream cooking live streams. And she always says, just light up. I love when she says that. Hey, beautiful, how are you doing? Where is our page? It's John. John, hello there. Page is upstairs because we are actually using this overheat. And I typically don't like to have her around when I have heat going on the burner here. Or when I have heat, anything that's hot that could burn her, I typically don't let her um, sit beside me. Only because I'm typically live streaming and, you know, toddler's hands go much faster than mom's eyes sometimes. Miss Lady Boss, I still got you up there saying, hey girl, hey. Well, hello. How are you? So you can't really see, but it's just a very small amount of the lavender essential oil that we're going to add in as soon as all of that is melted. So the way that you would use a moisturizing bath truffle is pretty simple. As you are running your bath and you're getting into your moment of zen, you simply drop your bath truffle into the tub and let it go as the water is running. What that's going to do is it's going to release every single one of those ingredients that we have put inside of here. Now the emulsifying wax is going to help so that it does not get too slippery. And it also helps to combine the ingredients very, very well. I just said Paige is upstairs. She's not, she's standing right there in the kitchen. Um, but no, you can't come over here. This is very hot. And you know what I did? What did you do? I well, when you were talking, I heard that you said you dropped something in and I came to see it, so and there's nothing there. Yeah, it's inside the pot. What in the world? Yeah, I put it in the pot. I put yeah. it in the pot. What How are we looking at you? Can you not see me, John? Or are you asking, like, how are you so fantastical with the live streaming stuff? What are you pointing at? The light? What about it? No, you can't mess with it. Are you, well, I'm not sure what you're asking, John. So we're going to stir this. So it does take a little bit longer to do the double boiler method, but you keep a lot of those properties of your oils by doing it this way. If you were to just put this in the microwave and just let it zap, it's, I don't have the scientific proof for it, but I kind of talked about this on the last broadcast. It's like when you're baking something in the oven versus trying to bake something in the microwave. It just feels like the quality Mom. is 10 times better when you do it on low and slow. Yes, mama. Um, we, one time we should make a gingerbread man. Oh, yeah, we should. But we need ingredients to get that. Is that a mirror? No, you're looking at me. That's not a mirror. Let me see. Hi, will this video... Yes, Tammy, this video will be saved. It'll also be uploaded to the blog, embedded into the blog that has all of the recipes in there. So it will be available for you to come back and review once you get the ingredients and you want to make it yourself just to kind of refresh or just kind of follow along and do it with me. That's cool, too. But great question. All right, so this is almost melted. Can I see what it looks like? No, baby. This is too hot over here. Okay, you're welcome. The tide, the sun, the sky. <laughs> it's okay, you say you're welcome. Just and that would be Paige. Go. Hey, 
All right, we got that one little piece that's hanging out, but it will melt. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off of here. Is it hot, hot? It's not hot, hot. So we take that off, and we're going to put that right on I'm here. Gonna make sure it's, it's, oh, Mom, it's too hot in here. Leave it alone. That's not a toy. Back up. All right, so this has now melted down. I'm going to check the temperature on here. It's at 151 degrees, which is actually perfect for adding our essential oils. The nice thing is um, we didn't have the essential oils directly over the heat, which is important. So we're going to go ahead and add these in. And stir it up. Make sure everything is nicely combined. My head is completely cut off here. Let me let me fix you guys. Boom. No. All right. Now you might notice I have this little cake pan doohickey tool here, and the purpose behind that is I am using a silicone mold, and to make it easy for me to be able to move this, I put this on here so that it's on a flat surface, which is important, because otherwise, if I go to lift this after I make it. What will happen is it'll just kind of be tilted and I might lose some of the ingredients. By having it on a flat surface like this, I am able to spin it around so you guys are able to see a better image of it. And then we're going to just go ahead and pour. Now, you don't need a whole lot going into, here I'll move this this way. You don't need a whole lot that's going into each one of these because it just takes a little bit, depending on how large your tub is. But for a standard tub size, you're not going to need more than maybe a half an ounce in each one of these. So let's go ahead and pour, pour, pour. And this isn't going to fill up all six. I may get four or five. Now, look at me lying. We may get all six. No, oh, no. There we go. One of them is going to be a little less. I don't know. And now I'm just eyeballing it to use up the remainder of the mixture. No sound. Why not? Do you guys not have sound? Hmm. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys can blame Drea for our commercial interruption. <laughs> you guys can blame Drea, but she said, LOL, it was her phone on mute. It was not dead. So that's all there is to this. Now, what you want to do after you make these is you simply put them into the freezer for about 15, 25 minutes. They're going to become rock solid. Once they become rock solid, I don't have this prepared at this point, but let me see. You can get yourself some rosebuds. My rosebuds are beat to death. I don't have a really good rosebud. But you can, after, they're going to become an opaque color. Will these make bubbles or is there anything you can add to make bubbles? Um, that would be a different kind of, uh, maybe a bubble scoop. I can do another recipe for that later this month. Um, you're on punishment, Drea. But you can take rosebuds after they get hard and you can decorate it that way. And then you have flowers in the tub with you. But Sylvia asked a good question. Will these make bubbles or is there anything you can add to make bubbles? So that would be our bubble scoops recipe, which I will make available for you guys on live soap school. Um, this one is strictly meant for conditioning and calming in the water. There are no... Um, bubbling agents in here so if we have done if we did like a bath bomb kind of sort of that probably or most definitely would give you bubbles but this one is going to add that layer of conditioning in the tub 
So all of those benefits of the shea butter, the mango butter, the cocoa butter are all in the tub while you are experiencing a little bit of aromatherapy. And who doesn't like aromatherapy? This girl does. Hopefully you do too. So again, what you would do is you mix up all of your, first you measure all of your ingredients out. Then you put them in a container that you can put into a double boiler. You melt them all down, sands the essential oil. After you put your essential oil in, you make sure that everything is mixed very well. You get yourself a silicone container that you can use to actually mold and shape your um, bath truffles. You're going to put this in the freezer for about 15 to 25 minutes. After that 25 minute mark, they're going to be a nice opaque, hard consistency. You can decorate them with rosebuds, lavender buds, um, calendula flowers, anything that you want. But remember, you don't need a whole lot, maybe one or two on top of each of these. At the bottom of this post, I'm going to actually take a picture. Once these are frozen or once they're solid, I'll actually decorate the tops to give you some ideas on how you could use them. And then when you're ready to take your bubble bath, I'm sorry, your regular bath, there's no bubbles in here. When you're ready to take your bath, the only thing that you need to do is drop them in as the water is running and it's going to disseminate all of those excellent, excellent ingredients for you. So Drea, I'm hearing that you're on punishment. Take yourself off. Take yourself off. Hey, hey, Mish, how are you? So we have just finished this one up. Now I did kind of sort of already put a set in the freezer. So let's see if they're actually ready. And if they are, I shall be right back. Hold on, Paging. I'm coming for you now. Let's see. Okay, give me two more minutes, okay? Alright, so here's the beauty. Eh? So after you have had them in the freezer for a little while, here. So there's one on here that I ruined initially because I was trying to take it out too soon. Here, I'll put it down here. So we're going to set that off. And this is the magic of TV or live streaming, I should say. Here is the magic. Boom! 20 minutes later, you end up with these amazing babies. Now that one right there I messed with, so ignore that one. But these are the finished bath truffles right here. So what you would then do is that rosebud that I was talking about. Drea, you're off punishment, my dear. You are off. Why? Well, she told us that we had no sound, but we actually had sound. Not a big deal. Yeah, she's a part of our, she's an internet auntie. All the internet aunties. Paige will be heading to kindergarten. Paige Whoa. is heading to kindergarten. So we're just taking these out, guys. But guess what? Hey, okay. Kayla from Australia. Two days? What's the two for? No, two of my friends are in kindergarten now. Oh, really? Rohan. Oh, they're already there? Yeah. Cool. All right, so you have to be patient, guys. If you're not patient, you don't end up with the four spheres. Hey, Paige, everybody's saying, hey, Paige. We're Hello, saying, Hello, young ladies. Hello, young ladies. Um, so let's see, can I, where did I put our little rosebud? Don't remember. Remember, remember, I just had the whole container of them. They have disappeared. Hmm. Oh. Look to the left. Look to the left. Well, that probably would look better on top of the black surface. Paige, leave it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. All right. So now what we'll do is we'll try and scavenge out a rose petal. So these are dried rose petals. Wait, can I see dry? Put them over. Right here. Smell them. It smells like roses. No, no, no. You can't touch them. No, baby. All right. So we'll take this. And then we just stick it right in the middle. So 
So you are creating your own version of self-care. And I'm just taking the end pieces off. And so not only are you getting that mixture of the lavender. That one doesn't want to go in. We'll force it. You're also getting the roses. Which are very, very fragrant, guys. And the skin loves roses. So you know how people will spray um, rose water on their face? Well, you're creating... Well, it's not the same. It's not completely the same. I'm being a little janky. I have to find my other thing of roses. But you can use something like this. Bam, bam. I just need one more. Just give me one more, Carol Ann. My aunt's name is Carol Ann. This actually smells like tea. Okay, I don't think we're going to get one more. I don't think we're going to get one more. This is all like just the petals. And I can't stick the petals. But that's what we have there. I know, watching our baby grow. Oh, congratulations, Paige. Everybody's excited about you going to kindergarten. Ow, that was hot. Hit my arm. So then you have yourself a version of self-care. This will, as long as you don't have this in like really hot temperatures, it will remain solid until you are actually ready to use it in the tub. When you're ready to use it in the tub, run yourself some nice warm bath water. And then once it's about like maybe two inches deep, drop this in there and allow it to create an escape for you. Hey, Miss T. Sylvia says, very nice. What would be the best way to wrap them? Hmm. Very good question. Um, I would say maybe shrink wrap them or maybe even in a coffee filter. I don't have any cof um, coffee filters. Um, but maybe in a coffee filter and leave the top open so that you can still see the rose petals coming out. Um, what else? You can also do, um, what is that? Scrapbook paper. Use some scrapbook paper to decorate it as well. Um, the scent of this is lavender essential oil. You can use any scent that you want. It does not have to be lavender essential oil, but that's just a common one. And I know when I say lavender, most of you can um, imagine the smell. So I try and use scents on these broadcasts that you guys will remember. I guess Paige wants to show you her potion. Is that what's happening? Well, this is a little hot because Mommy already burnt herself, so let me... Let me move this out of the way. Paige made an activated charcoal and shea butter potion, which is always fantastical. I'm going to get this off the white because you guys can't see it on the white, but it's better on the black. Cupcake liners. Yes, you could use cupcake liners. Um, Let's see. I have this little box. Stop, Paige. Um, if you have like a little decorative box. Uh-oh, I broke my rosebud. Darn it. If you have a decorative box, kind of like this one, you can put some little paper inside of there, make it a little fancy, close it up, and then when somebody opens it up, it's like, ooh, you've got a bath treat coming right to your door. All right, everyone, so I'm going to let you all go. This is Paige's potion. She wanted to make sure that I showed you all. Paige, do you want to tell them about your potion? She doesn't remember what she added in, but it's a special potion. I'm Zakia of Natural. Oh, wait. oh now she remembers. Wait, true um, makers don't tell people who, who put who put them in. Oh, true then, potion makers don't divulge their recipes. Yes. Because so then, she can't tell you. It's a secret. Then she'd have to kill you. Because um. Because I don't want you guys to smell it because if you smell it, then you're going to go up in your nose and then you're going to die. You're very welcome, Artiste. So they're saying thank you very much for the broadcast. Congratulations to you heading to kindergarten, little girl. You want to come say bye to the folks? E. All right. Here's Paigey. Say bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, guys, make sure you check out the blog. It has the recipe for you. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments oh, below. And that. we'll get back to you. To you, to you. <laughs> Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.